everybody. <laughs> We're both sick. <laughs> she made me sick. <laughs> and he gave it back to me. Stop using your shirt. There's a box of tissues behind you. I have sleeves. <laughs> <coughs> so, so, Maggie got sick, gave it to me. I got better, but I gave it to him. He got sick, and now he gave it back to me. I'm still sick. <coughs> got it back to him. <coughs> so we all feel miserable. So I'm doing things a little bit differently. I didn't write everything down, and I didn't type remark responses to everybody's comments. <coughs> so. And Bones is the only one who gets to enjoy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> That's right. He's all dressed up back there. <coughs> so happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody out there. Um, I don't have any individual shout outs, so we're going to jump right into my question from yesterday. If you had to flee the country tomorrow, where would you go and why? Lucy Owl. She would go to Ireland because she has Irish in her. But if for some reason she couldn't get out of the country, she would come to California because that's where her her wonderful family lives. <coughs> if you want a cold. <laughs> if you want to get sick, come on over. If you want to come over here tomorrow, you're going to get sick. <laughs> Apparently this is pretty contagious. <laughs> Angie Lupus Life. She would go to Uruguay? Uruguay, yeah. Uruguay. It's the only country that has fully legalized cannabis, and she uses cannabis regularly to control her epilepsy and lupus. And there she would be able to live without fear of persecution or prosecution. Tanya Longley, she would go to Ireland. Sounds because, like the place. Because it's some place she's always wanted to go. And she asked if we want to go with her. Yeah, we'd go with you. Okay, Greg Myers. Not sure if you quite understood fleeing the country, but he said he would come to Corona, California and live next to the neighbors. Thank you. Okay, now, I actually want to give this channel a shout out. He's a pretty funny guy. You guys really need to go and check him out. His channel is Vlog Epicness. He... Him and his family are like adrenaline junkies, is what I like to say. I don't know if they're, that's what they would call themselves, but they do just amazing things on their channel. Go for it. Check out his channel. Give him a thumbs up. Tell him we sent you. Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80, uh, she would go to Australia. Not only do I love the animals, but since I was a kid, but ever since she was a kid, Estrella has always been in her heart. If not Australia, then she would go to Greece because Greece is beautiful. I wouldn't mind going to Australia. But I had a shrimp on the body. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tracy Quick said that she would go to Paris because it seems very romantic and maybe she would fall in love with a rich man that has a big country home and a big apartment in the city. Yes, I dream big. <laughs> yes, you do, Tracy. But nothing wrong with dreaming big. <clears throat> My brother lives there. He goes say hi. Yeah. He's not rich. He doesn't have a big country home. But he, had, he lives in Paris. He lives in Paris in a small <laughs> apartment. But he's married, too, so... <coughs> And hey, Kevin, are you sick? She wants to know. Hey, Kevin, are you sick? Yes. <laughs> we both are. <laughs> Thanks to Kevin. Um, what? <laughs> Why is it always my fault? This is your fault. It's Megan's fault. <laughs> Why do you keep saying it's my fault? Because you gave it back to me. Well. <laughs> <coughs> Jack Sabin says he would go to Ireland because... The castles and all those ghosts of Ireland that we like so much. Thumbs up on that. And that is where his forefathers are from. Sort of like returning to where it all started. <coughs> yeah, I like that idea. <coughs> Trans Am Girlie said that she would have to go to a country that speaks English because she only speaks a little bit of Spanish and she wouldn't be able to get by. So she would pick something like England or, or Australia. How about Canada, eh? 
Um, I can order a beer. And, and <coughs> you can order a beer in German too. Yeah. He he can get by as long as he can order beers. Um, I need to make a correction. Jessica CT's phone iPhone case is not a picture of Taylor Swift. It's her album cover of her album 1989 cover. <coughs> And no, she's not as crazy as me and does not have a cardboard cutout of Taylor Swift like I do of Daryl Dixon. So, she, she's slightly less crazy than I am. Just slightly. Crimson Fairy said she would go to London because that's where her six sister is right now. But what happens when your sister comes home? Would you still pick London? Lord Gierno says England because that's where his mom has always wanted to go. And he can't disagree with her. And even if he could, he wouldn't. <clears throat> so he would go to England because he can't dream of any other place to go. Bambi S. said she would go to Australia, down under in Australia, because it's beautiful and the guy's accents are hot. I would have to agree with that. An Australian accent? Yup, I like that. Lord Gierno also thinks that I, or we, should give... Somebody a shout out. <coughs> what do you think? I think we should. He comments on everything. Sure. We welcomed him to the community when he, he first started joining us, but let's give him a shout out for the heck of it. I love my singing monster. Shout out to you. Yeah. And Lord Gear now, shout out to you for suggesting it. Um, Terry Johnson said that she would go to Canada. <laughs> Because they speak English there, and it's close to home. Oh. So, Canada, eh? It's not cold there right now. The Borden says it's very nice right now. What, what is very nice? Well, you'll have to watch their vlog, and you can see. What, 60s? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the Abyss says he would leave the country and go to Germany because my grandpa's side of the family is for Germany and I would like <laughs> to find out if I still have family there. That's a good reason to pick a place. <coughs> Try and find your family tree. Dougie Style said that if he had to leave the country, he would go to Canada because it's close by. He wouldn't have to learn a new language, but he would have to add the word a to his vocabulary. A. Hey. Hey. So, where would you go? Uh, <clears throat> probably, probably United Kingdom, Ireland, England, Scotland. It's all my family are from, is from back there. Mostly Ireland, but there's some English and Scottish in there as well. Well, now that we have viewers from lots of different places, we have lots of places we could go if we needed to, right? Yeah. Yeah, like Shelter from Wind, I think, is in Finland, right? Cool. Would you like oh. to go to Finland? <laughs> <laughs> we have people in Alaska, too, right? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm picking all these cold places. But who's from Alaska? Um, I'd have to actually look, but I do know we have people from Alaska. Okay, let us know. We do have Who's people from Alaska? from Alaska. I'll put her in a crate and I'll mail it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to Australia with all the others. <laughs> but my my true pick would probably be <coughs> Ireland. There you go. Okay, and we were going over the famous people <coughs> yesterday, and we said who we met, but we didn't say who we would like to meet. So, who is it that you would like to meet? I'd say it would probably be uh, John Carpenter, director of Halloween and The Thing. Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. Number one on my list, and I think you all could guess who it is, <coughs> Norman Reedus. Who? That's my pick. I would probably have a heart attack and die if I met him. But, yes, I would love to meet Norman Reedus. So my question for you for today, we're kind of torn between two, but I picked this one for today and we'll do the other one tomorrow. Um, what was something that you could find 10 years ago, but you cannot find now? <coughs> and for those of you, I guess, who are younger. <laughs> Ask your parents. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe it's something two or three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that something you, that you could gone. find, but you can no longer get anymore. So, there's your question. It's time! <laughs> it's what? It's time for Kevin to do all the talking now. <laughs> Credit roll! <laughs> That's all I got. Alright, so yesterday's question was a good one. It was uh, Wilhelm Scream. What is our Wilhelm Scream? Wilhelm Scream is um, a audio clip that uh, has been used since 1951. It's, uh, it was originally used in the movie Distant Drums. Uh, and it was a guy being eaten by an alligator in the swamps. And he screamed. And that was probably Shep Woolley, who was, uh, who was Private Jessup in that movie. And then that was recorded... Uh, five different ones actually, but this one is the one that's used a lot, and um, it, it's, it's used through the 50s and the 60s, but it became very popular in the 70s because of Star Wars. The sound guy, Ben Bird, is the one who called it Wilhelm Scream because um, probably he, he, it was the charge at uh, Feather River, there was a character named um, Private Wilhelm that was, um, it was Ralph Brooks who played him. Uh, but of course, it was it was Chef Woolley who actually did the scream. So what was did, what was it in Star Wars? Everywhere. It, anytime someone's falling or getting shot, they used it. It's become a it's become an industry standard, almost a joke, where the sound guys always slip this in. Interesting. And this is what it is. <laughs> so those who got that one correct are. Terry, uh, Terry Johnson, Doug Eastdale, Tanya Longley, uh, Bambi S, and Melody Mainville. Woohoo! Okay. A couple of shots of this and I'm feeling great. Today's question, I was desperately trying to find a, a Cinco de Mayo horror film. And there is actually a horror film called Cinco de Mayo, but it was such a low-budget film, I can't find out anything beyond that there was a movie called Cinco de Mayo about the movie. However, there was a... Uh, a really reaching, I went for a uh, horror film that was done in 85 and it was produced, directed, and uh, made in Mexico. Now it wasn't on Cinco de Mayo, uh, the, uh, Mexico doesn't really celebrate Cinco de Mayo, uh, but uh, it was a, considered a pretty good movie that you never see anymore. It, it's called Cemetery of Terror or Cemeterio del Terror. In America, it was called Zombie Apocalypse from 1985. It was directed by Ruben Galindo. And how many different subgenres were shoved into this movie? It's like they took every horror film of the time and tried to shove it into this one movie. So you tell me how many subgenres. Like Vampire, that's a subgenre. It. Oh, okay. I get it. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you. Give me your hand. Hurry, hurry. We love you, we love you all very much. Be sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be alive. <laughs> Breathing and talking better and, and all that happy stuff. We die now. Bye. Bye.